Hi everyone, I'm Tim and this is my channel Tim Collins ADV. Today I'm super excited about reviewing this really great inflatable kayak from Elkton Outdoors. I bought this on Amazon a few weeks ago and have had a few chances to take it out on the lake and test it out. I'm really happy with it so far and I am definitely looking forward to many more adventures with it. So today I'm going to give you my initial opinions, talk about some of the stats and features, and do a little unboxing. So I like to start my reviews with what I think is a deal breaker for most people or a non-starter for me, and probably you too, and that would be price. This was not a cheap kayak. On Amazon, which is where I found, found it at the least expensive, comes in at $750. Before you stop watching this video, I wanna say that I think the price is definitely justified based on quality and features. So now that that's out of the way, let's dive into my review of this kayak. I should also say that I don't have a ton of kayaking experience, so I don't necessarily have much to compare it to, but I think over the last few weekends, I've gotten a pretty good feel for this piece of gear. First, let's start with a quick unboxing and talk about what comes with it. First thing out of the box was the air pump. That does come with a pressure gauge, which I found very helpful when inflating. Next is the seat and backrest. The kayak itself, which comes in a bag, which I will definitely be talking about more in a minute, uh, it does come with paddles that break down into three pieces for easy storage. Also in the box is the footrest and patches for any punctures. Not shown in the unboxing was the skeg, which helps keep the boat going straight. Overall, out of the box, I think it is a great starter kit. I like that it comes with a carrying bag, which can actually fit everything inside, which I really love about this kit. Even with everything in the bag, there is still room to spare, making the packing up process a breeze. I like the extra space because it keeps the zipper from being strained. I also like that the carrying bag has backpack straps, which makes getting the boat down to the water much easier. Also, first impression of the kayak itself feels really well made and the materials feel very high quality. I also like the feel of the pump, and I like that it has a pressure gauge, taking the guesswork out of inflation. As far as design and build quality, my first impression is really good. I think it feels like something that will withstand repeated inflation and deflation, folding it up and packing it away, and generally just a lot of use. This is of course just my first impression, and I will be sure to keep you updated as I get more time in with this kayak, and we'll definitely let you know how it holds up long term. This kayak was super easy to inflate and set up. The pump works great and it inflated within a few minutes. So I'm definitely happy with the pump. I think the design of the Elkton Steelhead kayak is great. I know this kayak is designed with fishers in mind, which I don't plan on doing much fishing with this kayak. But one of the features I liked when shopping around was that it has mounts for fishing pole holders, which I plan on using for holding cameras and selfie sticks. I'm really excited to see what kind of footage I can get with this setup, but I like that it's there as an option. If you're thinking of getting a kayak and want to film your adventures, this might be an appealing feature to look for. I also like the openness of the kayak. There's plenty of room for me at six foot one, and there is also enough room for all my gear that I might want to take with me. I plan to use this kayak for multi-day camping trips, so I am glad I can take all my camping gear with me with room to spare. As far as materials, this kayak is made with a thousand D reinforced layered PVC, which is confidence inspiring to say the least. I don't want to hit rocks or debris, but if I do, I definitely don't want something that will puncture very easy. The build quality is really above and beyond, and I have a lot of faith in the kayak lasting many years of use. Also, it has a solid drop stitch floor, which makes the kayak stable enough to stand up in. I don't plan on standing up in it, but this was another feature that really caught my eye and appealed to me, the stability. This kayak feels super stable, and even when hitting some small wakes, I never felt close to capsizing. There is a bungee net for storage at the front of the boat. It's also a self bailing floor too, in case I decide to take it in rougher waters, which I definitely need a little more practice before I tackle that, but it's good to know it's there for when I work up to that. One more thing on design, the air valves are really solid, and once I figured out how to actually use them, they are really easy to work with. There is an inner valve that you push down and twist to open or close. My only gripe about the inflation process is that the nozzle from the pump sometimes comes loose when you're trying to take the nozzle out, which means air escapes rapidly. Once I got the hang of it, it really wasn't so bad. You just need to pay attention to that. Let's talk about some of the stats now. The kayak itself weighs about 40 pounds, which seems like a lot, but I think it's due to the heavy duty materials. The weight limit is 400 pounds, which is plenty for me, 
and all my gear with room to spare. The dimensions are 39.5 wide and 10 foot by 10 inches long. It says that it can perform in up to class 3 rapids, which like I said, I'm not up to that yet, but I like a piece of gear that I can grow into. It also says it can be used in salt and brackish waters. Now let's talk about performance in the water. As I said earlier, this kayak is super stable, making it real easy to get in and out of, and it gives me peace of mind when out on the water that I'm not gonna have to swim back to shore. It's not the fastest kayak, but I find it perfect for exploring while getting some good exercise in. I found it really fun, which I know is not specific to this kayak, but I think it's worth mentioning that I am really excited to show you guys some of the beautiful water in Arizona and the rest of the United States as I continue to explore with this kayak. I did find that the paddles are a bit heavy, so I will be upgrading those eventually for something lighter and a little bit longer but it's nice that it comes with paddles, which do feel well made, and the paddle itself is rigid and sturdy. I was definitely feeling the burn in my arms after a few hours on the water, but they work well, and you can also offset the paddles if you want. Another nice feature. I've only used this kayak in calm water so far, but it performs well. Even when a bigger boat leaves a wake for me to navigate over, I always felt stable. I also found this kayak to be extremely easy to maneuver and steer. There was minimal tracking with the skeg installed. I also found it to be comfortable. I like the feel of the seat and overall it was a really great experience each time I've taken it out so far. It's highly adjustable. I'm pretty tall and I had plenty of room to spare. The first day I went out for about five hours and found it to be comfortable all day, especially once I got the seat adjusted properly. It's very customizable and I think pretty much anyone would find this kayak to be comfortable. One thing I did notice when paddling is that the paddle sometimes rubbed against the side of the kayak. That may be user error, maybe my form isn't the best yet, but I thought it was worth mentioning. As far as portability and storage, it was a pain to get it completely dry after taking it out of the water. I had to towel dry it on site and then take it out at home to air out a bit more. It is easy to take down and pack away. Like I said, the bag is big enough that I'm not fighting to get everything in there and get the zipper closed. And it's, it's heavy compared to other inflatable kayaks on the market. And the bag and pack size is fairly large, but I do find it to be portable and it's easy to store away. I love the backpack straps for getting the boat down to the water, packed up instead of trying to carry it all inflated from the car. So some of the advantages I can see about this kayak compared to others, I think the durability is top notch for an inflatable kayak. I really appreciate that the mounts are already installed for fishing poles or cameras in my case. I like the open layout with all the room for storage of gear and I think it's a good looking kayak. I like the color scheme a lot. I can't really think of any drawbacks other than the price, which I know is a lot, but if it lasts for many years, I think I'll get a good return on my investment. I always prefer to buy nice rather than twice and I I think I accomplished that with this kayak, but time will tell. This kayak has pretty good reviews on Amazon, 4.4 out of 5 stars, and I think that's pretty good. If you want to check it out on Amazon, I will leave a link down below in the description for you to check it out. Like I said, Amazon was the cheapest when I bought it, although the price did go up since I bought mine, so maybe just keep an eye on it and see if the price goes back down. Anyways, let me know in the comments if you have any kayak experience and what you think of the inflatable options available. I'd love to hear from you guys. Overall, I think this is a great kayak and I think it's a good value for the money. I'm looking forward to many years of adventure and exploration with it. And I'm excited to share that with you in my vlogs. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.